as the representative of Her Majesty the Queen in Nova Scotia. I am delighted to bring you greetings on the occasion of the 10th annual Nova Scotia Sea, Army, Air and Navy League Cadet Day. A titre de représentant de la Reine en Nouvelle-Écosse, je suis ravi de vous transmettre mes salutations à l'occasion de la dixième journée annuelle des cadets de la marine, des cadets de l'armée, des cadets de l'air et des cadets de la ligue navale. Approximately 10 years ago, Bill 23 was passed in the legislature and granted royal assent, establishing that the first Saturday in October would be Cadet Day in Nova Scotia. Although it is through a virtual format, I am very pleased to once again participate in this special day uh, that recognizes the wonderful contribution that has been made to Canada by cadets over the past century. During my time as Lieutenant Governor, I have had many opportunities to see cadets on parade or undergo training. What I have seen can be summarized in one word, and that is impressive. I am also struck by the incredible enthusiasm with which the cadets participate in their activities. It is important that Nova Scotians and Canadians recognize the tremendous value of the cadet movement in our country. This program teaches teamwork leadership, commitment, and self-discipline to the participants. They improve their physical fitness, learn about mutual respect and integrity, and they come to understand the importance of volunteering in their communities. These are all skills that go a long way in preparing our youth to transition into adulthood, and most importantly, to succeed in life. Without question, the cadet movement in our country is one of the finest youth programs that serves to develop and guide young people. And I highly recommend the program to parents and the youth of Nova Scotia. I was a cadet from the age of 13 to 17. Je tiens à remercier et à féliciter tous ceux qui parrainent des escadrons de cadets et ceux qui travaillent et font du bénévolat pour faire fonctionner notre corps de cadets et pour travailler avec les cadets. Votre travail est inestimable dans le développement de nos futurs citoyens. Et aux cadets, je dis merci de vous engager dans cette expérience difficile mais combien enrichissante. Vous ne le réalisez peut-être pas à cette étape-ci de votre vie, mais plus tard, vous comprendrez que le temps passé dans les cadets aura formé votre personnalité. Je vous souhaite le meilleur dans l'avenir. I wish to thank and congratulate all those who sponsor the cadet squadrons and those who work and volunteer to make our cadet corps operate and for your time working with the cadets. Your work is invaluable in developing our future citizens. Uh, to the cadets, I thank you for committing yourselves to this challenging but rewarding experience. You may not realize it at this stage in your life, but you will learn later that your time in the cadets shaped you as a person. I wish you the very best for your future. Thank you. Merci. Wadaliak. Hello, I'm Stephen McNeil, Premier of Nova Scotia. Each year on the first Saturday of October, we honor the hard work and dedication of young cadets in Nova Scotia by celebrating Cadet Day. 
There are over 3,000 Army, Air, Sea, and Navy League cadets throughout our province. The cadet program continues to be a place where young people can come together and participate in a variety of challenging and fun activities. This year, due to COVID-19, cadet programs are adapting to a blend of virtual and in-person activities. But the commitment to preparing our youth for their future success remains. On behalf of all Nova Scotians, I want to thank our cadets for the positive impact they're having on our communities. Happy Cadet Day. Good day, everybody. Bonjour tout le monde. I am Commander Peter Antonou. Je suis Capitaine Corvette Peter Antonou, the Commanding Officer of Regional Cadet Support Unit Atlantic. On behalf of the officers and cadets in the Atlantic region, I'd like to thank the Lieutenant Governor of Nova Scotia, His Honour, Arthur LeBlanc and the Government of Nova Scotia as we honour and celebrate Sea, Army, Air and Navy League Cadet Day in Nova Scotia. This year marks the 10th anniversary of Cadet Day. Just like many other celebrations and special occasions, we've had to adapt how we, how we honour these days. With that said, the Cadet Program is adapted as well. We switched to a more virtual and online presence for cadets to receive their training which we managed to maintain throughout the entire spring and summer period. Local training has recommenced in your communities and we continue to operate in this COVID environment, adapting to the needs and the challenges that are presented to us. We continue to offer a rewarding and exciting opportunity to the cadets they just can't find anywhere else. So once again, thank you very much for joining me in celebrating Cadet Day in Nova Scotia. Merci beaucoup.